my god. It's a jacuzzi of beef bones. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Oh, dude, this is fantastic. Man, this is good. Hands down. This is the best thing I've had. Woo! Oh, this is one of my favorite Filipino dishes already. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's the best. Good food and good people, and that's the point of making this video. I'm back in my favorite country. What? You guys already know that I love the Philippines. Its culture and traditions are so fun and unique, alongside its stunning natural landscapes and high energy of Manila. But it's the cuisine that really drives me wild. In this video, I'm partnering up with my foodie friend Chewy from The Chewy Show, and together we're gonna take you on a crazy culinary tour on the streets of Manila, from the old markets of Quiapo to the artsy neighborhoods of Malate and the world's oldest Chinatown in Binondo. These epic meals will surely put Filipino food on your bucket list. All right, it's time to eat. The food dish we are trying is palapo. It's a famous merienda noodle dish with different toppings like pork grinds, veggies, eggs, and the special is a sauce, secret sauce. I'm following him. So this is the famous Jolly Dada Palabo here in Quiapo since 1940s. So you can see this is a joyful plate of noodles. And then I make halo halo or mix mix. This is a party in a plate. I want to taste it with a one perfect palabok bite with extra chicharon. Cheers! Oh yeah! Mm. How was that? One to ten. Fifty. This is a thing of beauty. Just so many different colors and textures in one bowl. Take the calamansi, which is a small lime here. Hopefully you don't eat too many of those seeds, but who cares? And then as you said, we're gonna kind of mix it around a little bit. Oh man. This is just fantastic, bro. Creamy. It's thick and creamy because of the sauce, but the ingredients are just amazing. Rice noodles like you would find in pho, like in Vietnamese soup. These are the same noodles. So you've got the egg, chicharron, which is fried pork. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Oh. Dude, this is fantastic. It's insane, man. Oh, it's like the fatty part of the pork. Very crunchy. This is one of my favorite Filipino dishes already. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Complete meal. Perfect partner with the noodles is this puto. Puto. Rice cake. Rice right cake. So just kind of dip it in the yep. salad. Dip it. No. You know what? Mm. I've spent so much time in the Philippines, I've never had this dish. This is going to put Filipino food on the map. Yeah. Like This is like fantastic. A lot of people watching this video probably don't realize that Filipino food is so good because you don't see Filipino restaurants in your country, most likely. You always find Thai and Vietnamese and Indian and Mediterranean, but Filipino food is very underrated, man. This is really tasty, bro. Mmm. Skin. Mmm. Oh, bro. Look at the best. Vinegar, pork. It's all you need for happiness. Thank you. Masada. Masada. All right, bro, what is next on the Filipino menu? This is the famous bulalo sa la laan. So it's a beef bone soup with a rich, delicious, and goodness. I've had bulalo before, yeah. but I have a feeling this is going to be the best one. Uh, kind of <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude, that hits you in the face. Let's get two bowls. Yeah. We came here to eat bulalo, not squid, but after seeing this squid being cooked on the side of the road, I don't think I can pass it up. Bro, that looks so good. So we got squid here, and we got a big bowl of bulalo. Yep. What do you want to try first? I'll just take a sip. Cheers. Oh, it's like salt and pepper. Yup. Oh man. In bro, this is 12 hours. Okay. 12 hours to cook this bulalo. You can see the massive pot over there just boiling. The broth is insane. This really savory beef flavor. Kind of like a pepper beef flavor. Oh man. You taste the meat? Yeah. That has to be the best bulalo around. The beef is just so soft, man. It literally melts in your mouth, the beef. Mmm. What I like about bulalo is like, it feels like it's a homemade recipe wherever you have it. Yep. Everybody kind of makes it a little differently. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You did a great job making this. Bro, you have to eat the most rice part. How do I do that? Wait. This is called bone marrow. Bone marrow. There's a two ways of eating this. You can uh, suck it like that or you can use spoon. It's up to you. And sometimes I do is, I put an extra little juice on it. So this is like the stuff inside of the bone, literally. You can just kind of spoon it out. Look at that. Ah, ah. <laughs> <There you laughs> okay. 
Oh. It's oily and fatty. It's like butter. It's like butter. It's exactly like butter. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know, in America, we don't really eat bone marrow. It's, yeah. not, it's not a thing, but... Filipino love this one. It's called Pukak Bato. Make sure uh, blood pressure high. A lot of people don't realize the potential of Filipino food. Yep. But man, this is good. Hands down. Oh man, look at this squid though. I'm a very happy man right now, bro. Yeah. Not only is the squid grilled to perfection, but whatever they put inside of it, like onions and lettuce and cilantro. Oh, smoky and chewy at the same time. It's just sweet, look at the sweet. Look at the We came here for the burrito. The squid is just extra. <laughs> are you serious? Wow, they gave it to us for free. People are amazing, honestly. Thank you, thank you. Chewy, what is next on the list? This is the legendary Paris of Jim's Mommy. This is 24 hours, bro. Paris literally means in English pear. So you have rice, pear, ulam, or bayan. But uh, the bayan here is the beef Paris. It's like a Filipino beef stew. So basically, this is a commoner food. Anyone eats Paris from drivers, students, very cheap. As you can see, all of them are enjoying. All right, so what you order them? Uh, let's order some beef mommy. We are literally tucked away in some corner here of Manila. It's crazy. Look at this. People everywhere enjoying their mommy. This is the famous bowl of hot pares. It looks amazing. Chili. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of mix it. Woo! Spicy. Woo! Right, wash it down with a good old Mountain Dew, a recycled bottle of Mountain Dew. It's like tangy. It's kind of a, not sweet. How would you explain that the flavor? It's kind of peppery, so it is same thing, the beef stock, you can also taste it. But the highlight of this is the tender. Oh man, the beef is so chewy, you just kind of melt right in your mouth. And the soup is a really hearty, beefy flavor. So they just come by and top up your bowl? Free extra soup. The thing what makes this soup interesting is that it tastes different than other soups you find around Asia. It's not a bowl of like green coconut curry that you would find in Thailand. It's very unique, it's very beefy and has its own flavors and it just has a Filipino style on it. The way that they cook the beef, the beef is simmering in that big pot for hours. Masala kuya. Maraming salama po. Salama po kuya, maraming salama po. Great experience, man. Great people, great food. Moving on. We have just entered the oldest Chinatown in the world. Is it primarily Chinese people living here now? Chinoy, we call it Chinoy. Yeah, Chinese Filipino. Yeah, Chinese Filipino. Tagalog or Mandarin speaking? Some Hokkien. people Hokkien. Hokkien and Mandarin. But I think most of them are Hokkien. With a beautiful church, Binondo Church. It's one of 27 million churches in the Philippines. Wow, this city is crazy, bro. Chewy and I have made it to Chinatown in Manila, which is actually the oldest Chinatown in the world. How old is it, bro? More than 400 years old. That is older than the independence of the United States of America. 400 years old. And you can see it's a foodie paradise. Look at the line. It's pretty cool, all these little street vendors and we're like, I don't know, under a bunch of construction right now. Pretty crazy place, man. All right, we found our destination. So this is it? Yeah, this is Masuki, one of the oldest new shop here in Binondo. I think you can tell something. Let's get in line. After 45 minutes, we finally got a table. What are we ordering, bro? Uh, let's order some uh, their famous mommy, Shobao and Shomai. Yeah. Okay. Here, man, after a long way. The broth smells kind of weird. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because this is a mix of pork and chicken bones. It's almost um, not sour. How, how can you explain that? Okay, bro, sometimes they describe it this way. So. A sock. Do the socks. Do the beef. Oh, now that you said that, it smells like socks. It's a really weird broth. Most people wouldn't crave this taste. It's really but I kind of, when you eat it, it becomes better somehow. It's pork and chicken mixed in a bowl. Cheers. <laughs> this is like twice the size of any show I've ever had. It's like a sweet meatball. Is this, is this beef or pork? I think it's pork. 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 And by the way, we're using chopsticks because we're at a Chinese restaurant. Most of the time in the Philippines, they don't use chopsticks. 
really interesting how the recipe has stayed the same for almost a hundred years. Generations for generations. I think like three years. Yeah. So now for the, the grand possession here. Really good like that. Oh, man. Awesome. I've seen these buns before in other places, but not like this, bro. Mm. Well, this is the best thing I've had on today. Yeah. It's a sweet barbecue pork bun with an egg in it. And it's like doughy, floury bun. And normally when you see these in China, they're small. They're like the size of this plate or this size. It's huge, bro. This is a spicy, yeah, spicy sauce. Mm. It was worth the wait. It's really a shame that Filipino food doesn't get international recognition, especially when compared to its neighbors of Thailand, Taiwan, and Vietnam. As you have seen, the cuisine in this country is absolutely incredible, and this is only the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned for more videos about the Philippines in this 10-part series. Oh. How many pesos is this one? 10 pesos. No, that's not It honestly tastes like tofu. It's just blood? Yeah. Really? I promise that you're gonna love what I have to tell you. Bro, that was amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome travels. And also I'm giving away a free digital version of my top 100 best travel photos of all time. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for my free email newsletter and you'll be sent this straight to your inbox. Thank you guys. Stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.